How do we put an image onto the graphing screen? Well, we need to change the background. This is found in Format. Press second zoom, and we can see we're into the Format screen. Scroll down to Background, and then arrow across, and on the calculator are five pre-installed images. We're going to focus on number four, the water fountain. If you now press Graph, look at that. What an awesome image. We can see that the axes are in the middle of the image. It would be much nicer if the origin was over the start of the water spout. For us to do this, we need to move the axes five to the left and one up. So how do we do this? Well, we go back into Window. We change our X min to five more and our X max to five more as well. Notice that these calculations occur automatically. We then need to change our Y min one further up by taking one off both the Y min and the Y max. Now when we create a graph, the axis is now at the start of the water spout. So wouldn't it be awesome if we could drop points along that water spout and do a statistical calculation? Well, we can. How? Well, we go back into Stat, arrow across to calculate, and scroll down until we get to part E which allows us to do quick plot. We then press enter. It now asks us to drop some points using the arrows, move to the water spout, and when your cursor is in the appropriate position, press enter. With a quadratic, we need at least three points plotted. Here's our second point, and using the cursor keys again, we'll drop a third. You can, if you like, drop more points for good luck, or to make it slightly more accurate, but these are not needed. You'll notice above F5, it says Fit Equation. We therefore simply need to press the Graph button, and we have a choice of regression equations that will match those points. Obviously, our water spout is a quadratic, so we'll press number three. And there is a beautiful graph matching the water spout. F5 again asks us to store this by pressing Graph. We can store the X values in list one, the Y values in list two, the plot will get stored in plot one, and the regression equation will get stored in Y1. We arrow down until we get to the OK button and press Enter. We now have the plot stored, the Y equation stored as a quadratic, and the plots are stored in stat edit in list 1 and list 2. We now have a quadratic equation matching the water spout, but wouldn't it be fantastic if we could analyse that curve? Well, we can. To do this, we go into second trace. This allows us to find various values of significance. We could find an x value at a particular point on the curve. We could find the zero where the spout touches the x-axis again but we're going to focus on finding the maximum. For this, we press number four. We're now asked to find the left bound. Using the arrow keys, move the cursor to the left of where the maximum is. Press enter. Now, move the cursor to the right of where the maximum is and press enter again. It now asks us to guess. Well, between those two points, there's only one maximum. So now press enter again. And how about that? We now have the maximum value that the water spout reaches and the corresponding x value when this occurs. Thanks for watching this tutorial. I hope you found it informative and you now have the confidence to use and analyze your own images on the TI-84CE. Thanks for watching and see you next time.